Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to teach you how you can have multiple styles of font in the announcement bar of your Squarespace website. What we're going to do is make some of the characters bold, some italicized, and then we'll use custom CSS to isolate and customize them. The codes I'm about to share are listed in the description below, but I'm going to go ahead and share my screen to teach you exactly how to use them. Let's get started. Here we are inside Squarespace and I'm using the Rosetti demo. If we scroll down here, you'll see we have an upcoming event, the annual plant sale. So that's what we're going to have in our announcement bar. But first, we need to turn on the announcement bar. I'm going to navigate to website. I'll select website tools. And here I can select announcement bar. Now, when I toggle this option on, you'll see an announcement bar at the very top of our site, but nothing's there. So let's go ahead and write some text. We'll say coming soon. Join us for our annual plant sale. And let's finish this with learn more. That will be our call to action. Now I'm going to highlight the text coming soon and I'll make that bold. And then I'll highlight learn more. We'll make that italicized. And here for the click through URL, let's go ahead and link this to our events page. I hit forward slash on my keyboard and I'll say events. That'll take them to our events page. Now immediately you'll see it's all in the same text and we're going to customize that with CSS. So I'll select save. We'll hop back into our website tools and click on custom CSS. This is where we'll be adding our code. The first code I'm going to use says SQS announcement bar strong. The word strong is going to isolate just the bold text in our announcement bar. Let's open up a curly bracket and I'll say font family Granville. This is a font that's already installed on the site and instantly we can see the text change. Now it's a completely different style of text than the rest of the announcement bar. Let's go ahead and scoot it a little bit to the left so we've got more of a separation between that text and the sentence so it'll stand out even more. Let's say margin right 15 px. Now we've got a space between coming soon and join us. So there we go. All right, let's do a little bit more here. We also have italicized font at the end of our sentence. I want this learn more to look like a button. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna say SQS announcement bar EN. EM stands for emphasis, and that'll isolate just the italicized text. I'll open up a curly bracket, and the first thing I'll say is font style normal. That will reset those italicized characters. All right, let's go ahead and say text transform uppercase. Now they're uppercase characters, and here's where it gets even cooler. I'm going to say border 1px solid white, and we'll now get a border that makes that look like a button. Okay, let's add a little bit of padding to it as well. I'm going to say padding 5px. That gives us a little bit of distance between the edge of the border and the text inside of it. And last but not least, let's also scoot this button to the side so we've got that same amount of distance as we have here between coming soon and join us. I'll say margin left 15px. And there we go. Now we have different styles of font in our announcement bar by isolating the bold font using the word strong and italicized font by using the characters EM. These are just a few creative ideas of ways that you can customize your announcement bar. If you want to learn more about font and text properties that I use in my custom codes, visit insidethesquare.co forward slash text guide. And whatever you've decided to change, select save when you're done and you'll be good to go. Underneath this video, you'll find all the codes that we just used in this tutorial and links to related resources, including that free guide that I created with the most common font and text properties that I use in my custom CSS. You'll find that at insidethesquare.co forward slash text guide. Thank you so much for watching this video. I truly hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a like and let me know in the comments. And most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. Find everything you need to make Squarespace uniquely yours at InsideTheSquare.co. That's InsideTheSquare.co.